Thanks for tuning in. My name is Brad Nicklin. I'm the lead attorney and managing member of the Nicklin Law Group, which is a law firm concentrated in empowering men and fathers in divorce, custody, and family law matters, with offices in Nutley, Montclair, and Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I'm also the proud author of How to Survive and Thrive When Divorcing a Narcissist. You can find the book on Amazon.com in a Kindle version and a hardback copy by searching my name or the title. I hope it helps you or anybody facing these issues. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the shocking truths about no-fault divorces in New Jersey. The process of getting a divorce in New Jersey can be tough under the best of circumstances, but it gets even more complicated when you add in the fact of New Jersey's no-fault divorce laws. This video is going to explore some of the shocking truths about this and how they may impact your life, so stay tuned. No-fault divorce is a relatively new concept that was first introduced in New Jersey in 1970, but not currently adopted. The first shocking truth is that you can't file for a no-fault divorce in New Jersey. That's right, you can't get a no-fault divorce in New Jersey, no matter how hard you try. This means there must be some kind of fault alleged in your divorce complaint, and it will have an impact on how quickly things move along for you. The grounds for which you can file a divorce include irreconcilable differences, adultery, extreme mental and physical cruelty, 18-month separation, drug addiction, institutionalism for mental illness, and imprisonment. Now, all these sound treacherous, with the exception of irreconcilable differences, which is probably the most common ground that people use when filing a divorce complaint. There are many reasons for this, too lengthy to discuss in this video, so check out the videos I listed below for more information on this issue. The next shocking truth is, if you're considering divorce, be prepared for a long and contentious road, possibly. The total no fault suggests it's going to be easy and streamlined, but contrary to popular belief, all divorces in New Jersey start as contested matters. Only through compromise and cooperation can you hope to reach an amicable resolution and settlement. And if you're unable to, then you have to go to a trial. Don't go into this process expecting it to be easy, but with the right attitude and understanding, it can eventually become what would be considered a no fault divorce. The last shocking truth is it's completely irrelevant how you start your divorce or even the reason that you choose for getting divorced, which can be a tough pill to swallow if you are getting divorced because of adultery of your spouse. What ultimately matters is how it ends, whether it's by a settlement, a default, or even a trial. However, if you and your spouse are committed to working through the process together, you can come out the other side with a reasonably good settlement and possibly even a relationship that might even be stronger if you need to stay together and co-parent if there are children involved. As I said, most divorces settle before going to trial, but all of them begin as contested. What this means for you is that if you're considering a divorce, it's important to reach out for help sooner than later. The attorneys at our firm are experienced in helping clients through every step of the divorce process from beginning to end. We understand this is a difficult time for everyone involved, and we wanna make sure that you have the best chance of possibly reaching a settlement that works for both of you and your family. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a consultation with an attorney in our office, please use the link below in the description. Now for the obvious disclaimers. The content in this video is not legal advice, but it's intended to be informational. As always, we advise viewers to seek appropriate legal or tax advice necessary when making the decisions that could impact your lives and your families. The information in this video is accurate as of the day of publishing, but laws are always changing and it's important to stay up to date on all of them. If you've had any experience in New Jersey courts, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe. Here's my contact information if you have any questions or would like to schedule a meeting. 